So under ads and extensions, it'll take you over to this page. And then from there, we're going to go right over here to extensions. And this is where we're going to create our call extension. So what we're going to do is simply just create it, hit the plus sign for create extension, come down to call extension. And this is where we're going to set up our call extension. So you can do this either at the account campaign or ad group level. We're going to do this for XYZ roofer campaign only. So we're going to do campaign level, create new, and we're going to put our phone number in here for the ad extension, the, for the call extension. And how this works, guys, you need the phone number you choose must be on the landing page or website where you are sending the traffic to from your ads. Okay? If it's not, Google will disapprove the, ad extent, the call extension and it won't work. So we just usually create a call tracking number with CallRail or whatever call tracking software you're, you're using. Or if you want to use your own number that's already on your site, that's fine too. It doesn't really matter. But what you want to do is if you do use a call tracking number, is just drop it somewhere in the footer or anywhere on the website. Just so when Google crawls your page and scans it, they see that the number's on there so they won't disapprove your call extension. So for we'll just use our business number for this example. We want to do call reporting on. When you click this little hover over this question mark, it kind of gives you a brief detail of what your what this section is about. And if you ever need help or get lost, this is the best way to do it too. Besides commenting below the video here. <laughs> but um, yeah, so check that out. You can do that up here too. Count calls as convert as a as a ad extension call. So we set that up in our conversion tab, which if you wanted to set up conversion tracking, you go up here to the wrench under measurement conversions, and that takes you into the conversions tab where you'll be able to set that up which is simple. And then we come down here, device preference, it's mobile or desktop. So obviously if it's checked mobile, they're given preference on mobile devices, but are still eligible to run on computers and tablets. So you can check mobile and it's probably the best option to do that always. But what we do, honestly, and it's, you know, there's a lot of people do it differently, but we do, we do too. So we'll create this phone number and then we'll come back and create it. We'll just clone it again and then make it mobile. So we have one for desktop and one for mobile. And just like Google decide which one's more relevant at the time to show. And that's always worked out really well for us. So here's your call interaction bid adjustment. This is pretty cool. Let's you increase or decrease your bids for certain targeting methods, such as location, device, interaction type, and time of day. So that's pretty cool. So you can bid higher to get more. And it comes down here to advanced. You can set up with an ad schedule. You can do a start end date, whatever, whatever you want to do. And it's really that simple.